Hey everybody, so in this video I'm going to talk to you about the Amazon Merch Chrome extensions that I use when I'm doing my research and my uploading on Amazon Merch. I'm currently at tier 500 myself, I've just sold 272 shirts last month and these are the extensions that I use to get to this point where I am. So before we get into that, I just wanna say thank you for watching this channel, Start Starting Up, all about sharing tips for selling online, videos every Monday, Thursday. If this video is useful for you, make sure to give it a like, also share it if you know people that are gonna find this information useful. And before I run through the extensions that I use on Amazon Merch, have you got any Chrome extensions that you use yourself that you really like, that you found really valuable in progressing through Merch by Amazon? Let me and everyone else watching this video know in the comments box below. Okay, cool. So let's jump right into it. So a little context here. When I started out on Amazon Merch, I had a lot of trouble knowing the tools that were going to be useful for speeding up my progress, speeding up my sort of leveling up through the tiers and getting to a point where I was making lots of sales. You know, there's lots of different blogs and posts out there and different people saying different things. And it took me a while to get like a workflow and to get a set of Chrome extensions that actually were really useful for me uh, in sort of uploading shirts to Amazon Merch. So it's definitely important to have Chrome extensions when you're using Amazon Merch. They can really help you speed up the up uploading and also increase your chances of making sales. But it's important to know which extension to use. And that's exactly what I'm going to run you through now. So if we jump over to the computer, I'm going to run you through four of my extensions that I found really useful when I'm using Amazon Merch. So here we are on uh, Amazon.com. I've just done a default search to get some top selling Amazon Merch shirts. So I can show you the exact tool that I use when I'm doing some research, when I'm researching design ideas to choose some niches and some topics that I'm gonna build designs around. And the first tool I'm gonna to talk to you about, I'll just hover over it here, is DS Amazon Quick View. And I'll show you exactly what that does. So here we are, look, this is the default Amazon.com uh, t-shirt page. But when you have this Chrome extension installed, DS Amazon Quick View adds this box on the bottom of the catalog page of each product. And what that basically does is it quickly shows you the BSR number that Amazon has assigned these shirts. So if you don't know what a BSR number is, it's the best seller ranking that Amazon has assigned a shirt. So basically the lower the number, so you see the Shane Dawson shirt is 1,948, that's quite a low number. It means that this shirt is selling lots of shirts every day. As we get higher, 29,000, this shirt is selling, this Deadmau shirt is selling less than the Shane Dawson shirt. And then, you know, we'll go down a bit further, you'll start to see, well, these are the best selling shirts, so they're all gonna be quite low, at about 20,000. Oh, here we go, there's a 60,000 shirt, so this one is not selling anywhere near the same amount daily as the Shane Dawson shirt in, because this is 60,000. So as the BSR number gets higher, you'll see these shirts are selling less of each shirt every day. So as the BSR number gets higher, the shirts with the higher numbers are selling less volume every day. And basically why this is so great, you know, that it quickly shows you this number on the Amazon product page is you can use the BSR number to find designs, find topics, find niches that are currently selling really well and you can choose to focus on that niche yourself and add more designs into that niche. I'm not saying to copy designs exactly, but if you find a an interest, like a hobby group or like a passion that people have where shirts are currently targeting that interest and selling well, you can say, hey, I'm going to design shirts for this target audience as well. So it's really useful knowing the BSR number for currently selling t-shirts, currently while selling t-shirts, and with DS Amazon Quick View, you can see that number straight away on the homepage and really start to log down and do your research and log down which shirts are selling well and then move on to the next stage. Okay, cool, so here we are. Let's say for example, we found this Croatian t-shirt, you know, Croatia fan 2018, BSR of 21,000. So that's selling a lot of shirts every day. But we want to find like an exact keyword to use when we're uploading our Croatia shirt that we've designed ourselves. You know, so we've seen that they've used Croatia fan in the, in the brand name, Croatia t-shirt in the title, and we're trying to find like what keywords 
Amazon users are typing in when they're searching for this type of shirt. You know, we want to see what people are already using. We don't want to imagine and, and like assume what people are looking for. We want to actually find out from Amazon what that keyword is. So a great extension I've just installed to help you find the keywords that you're going to use when you do your listing. You know, you found your listing with the BSR number using DS Amazon Quick View. The next tool that I use, the next Chrome extension to find the keyword is this one up here called AMZ Suggests an Expander. So what I'm going to do is on the Amazon homepage, I'm going to type in Croatia, the keyword I'm thinking of using, and AMZ Suggestion Expander is going to give me way more keywords that people are typing into this toolbar. It's going to show me what the users on Amazon are already typing in around Croatia to give me ideas of what keywords to use in my listing. So I've just typed in Croatia, I can see the default auto suggest that Amazon comes up with. Croatia soccer jersey 2018 is up there. Croatia jersey, Croatia soccer. These are all keywords that I could be using when I'm uploading my listing to Amazon Merch. But the beauty of AMZ Suggestion Expander is it gives me these additional columns. So I can see what people are typing before they use the word Croatia, and I can see what they're typing after the word Croatia. So for example, before Croatia, people are asking for books on Croatia, Lonely Panic Croatia, Rick Steves Croatia. So they're not completely relevant for what I'm looking for at the moment, but I may, you know, when I'm doing some niches, I may find something really useful in the future by finding keywords before what I've typed in. And if we go to after, we can see Croatia soccer shirt, Croatia hat, Croatia scarf. These are people that are using the keyword I've typed in Croatia, and it's showing me what they've used after they've typed in Croatia into the search box. The third one is this one up here called Merch Tools. Now, what does Merch Tools do? Well, you know, if you're using Amazon Merch, you probably know it already that when you start to have lots and lots of shirts added on Amazon, it's quite hard to go back and find specific shirts. You have to click on page one, page two, page three, and really go back and look through and try and find what you're looking for. But what I can do with uh, this tool, so with uh, Merch Tools, is I can click to open Merch Tools, and go to Quick Editor. So this has saved me so much time when I'm going back and I'm making revisions to my uploads and to change my prices, I go to Quick Editor and I can basically use Merch Tools to quickly find a specific shirt. By using a search term, I can find a specific shirt that I want to edit and then it's gonna let me go in and quickly edit that listing. So I'm gonna blur out my shirts on here because I don't want people to know the niches that I'm already in. But basically I'll show you, I can quickly go here, I can type in, so I've done a, um, I've done a golden doodle shirt in the past, I don't mind showing that. I can type in golden doodle here, and you know these are all blurred out so you can't see them, but if I, I can click on the edit symbol here for the first golden doodle result that comes back, and that's going to quickly take me in to the edit screen of my golden doodle t-shirt, I can go in change the price, change the description, save it, and I've saved a ton of time by using Merch Tools. So Merch Tools, I definitely recommend to anyone who's starting to get a high amount of uploads onto Amazon Merch and they want to save time so they can use this to quickly find a listing and change it. And finally, the final Amazon Merch Chrome extension that I use when I'm uploading shirts is my favorite extension. It's this one up here called Merch Buddy. There's a lot of features to Merch Buddy, but long story short, it really speeds up your upload process. When you start to get to tier 100, tier 500, you're gonna need to start uploading, you know, uh, tier, sorry, 500, you can upload 50 a day, tier 100, you can upload 25 shirts a day. If you're doing that one by one, typing everything in each time, it's gonna take you a ton of time. But what Merch Buddy does is it lets you really speed up that process. I can upload 50 shirts now a day with my Google, with my tier 500 limit, I can do 50 shirts in a couple of hours maximum. When you have that extension installed, is they let you copy and quick paste text from previous listings into your current listing. So if you have like 10 variations of the same design, a sweatshirt, a hoodie, one for men, one for women, you can copy and paste quickly by using these buttons, Merch Buddy adds in and it lets you speed up the upload process 10, 20 times. And like I said, I can do 50 uploads in a couple of hours. I've done a whole video on Merch Buddy in the past, so I'll link you through to that video in the description box below if you wanna go and watch that video and get a detailed step-by-step -step on how to use Merch Buddy. And I'll also link you through to where to buy Merch Buddy. It's $30, you have to spend $30 to install that extension. That's the only one out of the list of four that's not free. But it's probably the most valuable 
Amazon Merch Chrome extension that I use at this point in time. I'd recommend it to anyone. So if you're interested, there's a link to below to buy that and speed up your upload process. So thanks everyone. Like I said, those are the four main Chrome extensions that I use to get to tier 500. And like I said, I had a month last month where I sold 272 shirts and I did all that using these extensions. I have other tricks and tips that I use when I'm doing Amazon Merch. Um, if you want to become a patron, go over to my Patreon and you can speak to me one-on-one -on -one as a $20, 20 minutes minute one-on-one -on -one chat that I offer through Patreon to all my Patreon members once a month. I've already spoke to five patrons in the past and they found it really useful. So go ahead and become a patron if you want to speak to me one-on-one -on -one and get some real hands-on advice with Amazon Merch. If not, you know, if you, or if you do, anyone watching this video, I just want you to stay motivated, stay committed. I had four months of pretty low results with Merch by Amazon, and then the last month, it shot up. So you just need patience, motivation, commitment, and consistency. Keep working away at Amazon Merch, learn how it works, learn the tricks, the tips, what doesn't work, and you know, eventually you will see success. So go ahead, everyone, I'm really rooting for you. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not yet subscribed to start starting up sharing tips online, videos every Monday and Thursday, Amazon merch videos like this, and other videos on other projects that I'm working on to make money online. So thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel, become a patron if you want some one-on-one -on -one, uh, time with me, like this video, share it, and ask any questions in the just comments box below, and I'll see you very soon.